And some advocacy groups have appealed to the federal government to look into challenges of multiple taxation MSMEs face on electricity supply, as they say it hinders the growth of small businesses. They heard their complaints at an event on the implementation of consumer protection rights, which held in Abuja at Maria Mohammed reports. Supply in Nigeria has not gotten any better over the years. The country has been unable to meet the increasing power demands because of its policies, regulators and management operations. It has affected the nation's commercial and industrial sectors and the nation's ability to attract foreign investors as enterprises have to rely on self-generated power using petrol and diesel generators. The inadequacy in power supply hinders the ability of MSMEs to produce goods, services and to create jobs. Hence, the continuous dependence on importation of goods into the country. A report by the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics shows that 41.5 million MSMEs in Nigeria are vulnerable to unfriendly business practices perpetrated against them by licensed electricity distribution companies. The reason for inviting the media. At this conference, leaders of these advocacy groups believe it's time for the federal government to set up a power policy implementation monitoring mechanism to ensure consumer protection policies provided for in sections 80, 81 and 82 of the Electric Power Sector Reform Act 2005 is effectively implemented. This will enable MSMEs to compete favorably with their international counterparts in the production of goods and services. If you are an FME operator and you are being cheated in the billing system and there is a law provided to protect you, if you fail to apply that law, if you fail to ensure that that law is uh, implemented in your favor, you, are, you don't blame anybody in arm that will train consumer groups to know their rights in the electricity sector. We cannot continue this way. It is unacceptable. Majority of the discourse in Nigeria we have 11 discos in Nigeria. Majority of them are killing businesses, especially at the micro, small, and medium level. Marvelous Davis is a tailor who owns a shop in Karu. The lack of constant electricity is a frustration she deals with daily and causes her to lose customers due to her inability to meet up with their demands. From the depth of my heart, we've been suffering. Light issue. You, you can imagine we sitting down like this with all my apprentices without light. The consensus amongst MSME business owners is that there is need for the federal government to intervene so licensed distribution companies do not charge them for the electricity they do not use. Because of the electricity of the situation, I was not able to meet up, meet up the job. At times, because of the electricity, I have to start running up and down to get gen. Licensed electricity distribution companies are advised to ensure that MSMEs and Nigerians get the value for the electricity they pay for in order to improve the nation's economy and social development. Licensed electricity distribution companies are advised to ensure that MSMEs and Nigerians get the value of the electricity bills they pay for in order to improve the nation's economy and social development. Maria Mohamed, TVC News, Abuja.